Mina, come on, Wad, Jesus freaking gamer here. Back with more Psalm 94, and this is another feeling that I think all of us have felt at some point in our life or another. This is going to be based off of verse 1 and 1 alone. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs. O God, to whom vengeance belongs, shine forth. How many times have we run into someone or something that's done something really mean, really dumb and stupid, and we're just like, you know, I'm going to pay him back. I'm getting him back for that. You know, you, know, you, you plot your little thing, you make your plans, and sometimes you get him back, sometimes it blows up in your face, and you look like an even bigger doof than you did before. And then there are the serious times when someone legitimately hurts you and someone you love. And it's at times like that where, again, we still want re revenge. We still want to take, we still want to make sure that justice is done. We want to make sure that, you know, the right, the right person is left standing in the end. And everyone knows how right we are. And it's a spe I'm not uh, jokes aside and small things aside. Those are the times when this verse really does apply. I think a lot of people have already heard several Christians talk about vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. It's written in the New Testament, and it's a quote from the Old Testament. Not this particular verse, but this verse certainly carries very similar undertones. God is the one who is ultimately just. He is ultimately the one to whom vengeance belongs. It's not something as tempting as it is. It's not something we should grasp with our hands. I'm not going to get into the whole sticky situation of, you know, well, what if you're an officer of the law or what if you're someone in the military? If I, The only thing I will mention is that I believe that many times if the officer is related to the case in any way, they're absolutely forbidden to be a part of it, lest, um, lest their bias and their prejudice against the subject take a hold and justice is not done. I'll take a moment just to say that. But for, but for the rest of us, I would like to say... Vengeance doesn't belong to us. It, it's not our place to make sure someone pays or someone's hurt. We are supposed to be on the side of justice, and we're supposed to be on the side of what's right, especially as Christians, since we claim to have the just and righteous God that we serve and worship. But when it comes to claiming vengeance, when it comes to carrying out revenge, I would suggest based on the word of God, leave those plans on the table, and rather submit them to the Lord and say, not to say, God, is this plan going to work? Is this good? Can I hurt this person this way? Can I get them back for what they did? Will you help me with this, God? This is a great plan. <laughs> not what I meant. What I meant, rather, was leave it on the table, take it to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm giving this to you, not to act it out, but to give it up. I'm not going to do this. This is not what I'm going to follow through on. Because when we take revenge into our own hands, it's almost never just. It's almost never right. And I wonder if even a single time in the history of the world, a human's done it and the judgment has been exactly what it should have been. That it was really and truly righteous. I just, I wonder. I know, I was like, justice in the law... Those are things I firmly believe in, but as far as personal vengeance, I can't subscribe to it. I can't endorse it or back it because of this verse and because of the other similar verses that I've covered tonight. If you feel like you need revenge, I'm going to say based on the Word of God, you need to let it go. No matter how painful it is, you need to let it go. And, and I was like, I'm, I'm not sure the people who I'm talking to now are or the people that this video will talk to years in the future, or maybe I'll even be talking to myself at some point. But you need to let it go. God really will take care of it. He promised in His Word, and God is faithful to His Word. So please let it go. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.